Hello, Max. How are you doing today? Welcome to JR Studio. We have one friend today. Is that a robot? Is it your friend robot? Oh. Do you like robot friends? We all gonna do some drawing and painting today? Okay. <laughs> Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Yoon from JR2 Studio. This is what we need today. Glove. Okay, glove has to be a latex glove, stretchable glove. And let me show you what other material that you're gonna need today. You're gonna need uh, just a blank or white paper. It has to be a little thicker because we're gonna paint on it, okay? And then we need a glove, like I said, and we need a ruler and a pencil, but we need a two pencils, but tip has to be very sharp. Okay, and we might need a scissor and a eraser and a uh, um, small, small tip, as you see, very small tip of a brush like this. And uh, we need uh, two paper towels, one for the dry, one for the wet. Okay, two paper towel. And as you see, we need a watercolor paint set here. Okay, and then we need a blue soft pastel. It's like a chalky kind of. We make a powder and then smudge and stuff. So we need a two blue, uh, but you don't have to use a blue, but uh, we need a pastel for that. Okay, so why we need a glove that I'm gonna show you in a minute. But first of all, let's blow it. Before you get a uh, very important part that I have to mention, you all must get a brand new glove. Okay, don't ever get the used glove, okay? They might have a germ in it, okay? So ask your parents, where do you get the brand new gloves like that, okay? So ask your parents to get one for you, all right? Now, once you got the new gloves like that, you open up like this and you blow into here like a balloon, okay? Okay, now I'm gonna tie this one very strong okay so it will look like a somewhat like a chicken head kind of okay now we're gonna put this aside okay there's uh, something that we have to do first use a paper tall way okay vertically you use okay and uh, remember we're getting a ruler now uh, everybody know how to measure things right so let's find the uh, three inch measurements on a ruler and make a mark on it. So three inch here, and from here three inch is here, okay? So we're gonna draw the line on the three inch. So this will be the ground, okay? So what we're gonna do is, uh, um, as you seen a picture uh, earlier, we're gonna make an arbor. We're gonna paint the arbor that has a rose climbing up, okay? Our little ruler, and we're gonna find the ruler on a one inch through the eight inches okay so find the sort of a center of the pa paper and make a mark on it okay so here to here and i'm gonna draw straight straight line one here and a half an inch above thickness okay so we're gonna build the arbor first up and then go in half an inch you have to look at this way so you can see better and up okay now now up here instead of I'll make a straight I'm gonna make an arch shape kind of nice looking arch shape okay so then we have to find the half of this one is a still eight eight here almost eight so half of eight is what four right so center is right here at the four here now I found the center but how can we make an arch shape I cannot really draw a perfect arch You're gonna draw a little line and you're gonna cut the little strip of paper. You don't need a whole lot. You just need a, this much is fine. Compass. How can this be the compass? Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to make a compass out of that. All right, so from here to here. So I'm gonna fold that paper right here, okay? So that was the center part, right? So I'm gonna make a mark. That's why we need a two pencils. I'm gonna make a hole here. So make a little hole here, okay? And then that will be setting right in the center. 
and then one here and one here one here and one here okay so we're gonna make a hole here pocket here and pocket here for the another pencil like that so we have a two one two three okay so the one pencil put it in the center right here so we're gonna make a dome shape okay so put it in the center another pencil will go here okay so all you need to do is uh, draw the arch shape here okay i think i got stretched a little bit okay there you go one here and another one here so you have an arch shapes like this okay all right so we use this uh, the balloon uh not balloon the glove they you blow that right and now we need a watercolor right here we just need a one drop of water okay just a little bit of water make a little bit of a liquid uh thin down a little bit of your hard paint and then we probably need a yellow actually i didn't have enough yellow so i put the kind of yellow here okay this is my yellow there okay that's my yellow so all you need to do is uh, we need a little bit of test paper too so a little bit here little bit here okay we got a, a little red nose here so you want to grab this side this way so you have a, like holding this way okay and then we're gonna press down 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 like that okay so let's see how this work now I'm gonna show you all right I'm gonna press down gently and up when you have a big blob like that means it's too much paint okay so you want to have a less of a paint means uh, less of a water make it a little sticky okay and then we go down and up down and up so you got to test it out okay now i'm creating a shape of rose it's coming out okay do you see it like that Normally the rose uh, leaves has a, uh, let me paint the rose leaf. Normally they have a stem coming out like that. And then the leaves, one leaves here, another and another. And sometimes uh, they have uh, like a five of them like that, okay? But we don't have to really create like this. Uh, just uh, simply uh, show as there are some leaves are covered, okay? But again, I'm going to use a varies of a different uh, types of a green, not only the dark green, I'm going to use uh, some of a yellow green here and there as well. So all you need to do is uh, draw the line and then press down on your brush that way. Okay. You don't have to paint in, you just uh, uh, use your brush, create a stamp thin, and then press down, press down and press down. Okay, do you see that? Okay, skinny stem, press down, press down, and press down. But again, you don't have to go by that step either. You can just uh, fill it up here and there with that, okay? So this uh, tiny, uh, very thin brush is uh, just uh, perfect for the size of a leaf.
the applying the colors at the bottom of a uh, uh, the brush here. Now we need a uh, big brushes like that. Okay. Uh, pretty much, I'm gonna use a uh, light yellow apply. I'm gonna apply the grasses. Okay, after that, I want to show you how to make a grasses out of a something like that so you don't have to fill up the whole thing okay now um i like to have a white color of arbor uh so that means uh, either i have to color the sky blue so the white arbor can show so i'm not gonna paint it because i don't want the color to be bleeding so i'm gonna use a soap pastel okay so soap pastel uh remember how we use this one I use uh, just the uh, powder here, use uh, just the edge of the uh, scissor. And then darker blue, scalp a little bit, apply the powder like that. Now right on here, I want to leave a white, okay? So just blank a piece of paper. We need a, another blank piece of paper like that. And I want you to cover this one right on the edges right here, okay? And then get a, a paper towel like this, right? Dry one this time, dry one. And You do this when the rose is uh, completely dry, okay? Then it comes out, this section is white. And go to the other side. And make the sky a little darker. But I'm not doing the whole thing, okay? Just the bottom a little. Just the keep a little, as is right here a little bit, okay? Then this uh, white uh, arbor color of the, the, the bar is just showing, okay? So now I'm gonna do a little bit on this side too. Okay, now I like that, but we're gonna erase the uh, pencil mark over there. And I'm gonna add a, a bird right there. It's gonna be a blue jay. And I'm gonna paint with a blue. Blue jay has a mostly blue color. Uh, they have a little bit of white. I'm gonna leave it blank white and then paint a little bit of black uh, at the end of the tails and the eye and a, a beak okay, I like it. 